कैसे अंत लहा जह जह देखा तह तह तू है तुझ ते निक सी फूट मरा हमरी गणत ना गणिया काई अपना बिरद पछाण हाथ दे राख है करे अपने सदा सदा रंग मान साचा साहिब सद मेहरवान बंद पाया मेरे सत गुर पूरे होई सरब कल्याण जियो पाए पिंड जिन साजिया दिता पहनन खान अपने दास की आप पैज राखी नानक सद कुर्बान डंडोत बंधन अनक बार सर्व कला समरथ डोलन तेरा खो प्रभु नानक दे कर हाथ डोलन तेरा खो प्रभु नानक दे कर हाथ राजा नराज पानान पान देवान देव उपवा महान चवर शत्र तखदा ने मालक the greatest of great kings tan tan shri guru granth sahib maharaj blessed are you to be sitting in that sad sangat remembering kalgi tar paacha remembering guru nanak dev ji sache paacha remembering guru arjan dev ji sache paacha with the prasang we left off in the last few days It's lovely that almost every 20 minutes somebody has been coming up to me saying Veer ji what happened to Pai Gora ji Pai Gora ji he was planning he turned his face from the guru his fear Bachon ki hoya Aap jo chaldi hoy ladi war Apan khair I don't want to take up too much time in this Ransa Bai Kirtan which we are going to start Kirtan sari raat gona pyareo One thing is gyan one thing is dhyan Allah above prem there is nothing Paath padeo aur ved bichareo nibal pe angam sadde panch jina syo sang na chutkeo aade kaun baud de tyage प्यारे इन बिद मिल ना जाई मैं किए कर्म अनेका हार परयो स्वामी के द्वारे दीजे बुद्ध बबे का आई हैव ट्राइड मेनी थिंग्स टू फाइंड गॉड बट आई हैवंट व्हाट इज दैट वन वे दैट आई विल फाइंड महाराज व्हेन आई गो टू योर द्वार महाराज जो मैं अपने आप नु हार जन्ना व्हेन आई एक्चुअली कम टू योर शरण ऑल माय एफर्ट्स गो इन वेन महाराज जस्ट bless me with one grace bless me with one of your looks whether it's a loving look or whether it's a skewed look it doesn't matter even within your skewed looks yes i'm scared yes there is fear within me but that fear is only there because out of that fear will love sprout without fear nobody can have love pa bin pagat na hoy 
शब्द ना लगे प्यार खैर प्यारे आप विचार आरंभ करने तो पहला मन बिरतिया कागर करके उस प्यारे की याद में जुड़ करके भाऊ जल पार उतार है दैस सतगुरु हुज गोइंग टू ग्रैब अर हैंड बिखड़े दाओ लंगावे मेरा सतगुरु दीज डिफिकल्ट पाथ्स दैट कम अपॉन इन इन आवर आवर लाइव्स सच्चे पाछे इज द वन दैट विल ग्रैब अर हैंड एंड गो थ्रू ही ही कैन मेक पीपल हु आर क्रिपल्ड वॉक ओवर माउंटेंस पिंगत पर्वत पार परे खलचतर बगीता हाउ महिमा साधु संग की सुनो मेरे मीता सारी संगत फोकस योर कॉन्शियसनेस तो गज वज के उ फतेह बुलाओ बाबा फतेह सिंह वाली गज वज के बुलाओ जी वाहे गुरु जी का खालसा वाहे गुरु जी की फतेह वुथ इन दैट लेंस ऑफ क्रोध वुथ इन दैट लेंस ऑफ काम वुथ इन दैट लेंस ऑफ अंकार प्यारे हो वट वी एंड ऑफ डूइंग turning our face from maharaj pai gora ji is sitting there that night andro enni zalan tadf peed ho rahi hai inside of himself so much pain he can't send how could he say this about my mother how could just sa singh do such a thing how could he make such a joke days have passed he's burning on the inside pyareo the things that we covered last time by gora ji is now sitting there with all of his friends all of his people that are part of his army they make this plan we must find a time when jassa singh the person who does chaur sahib over maharaj the person that maharaj always keeps close to him even though maharaj just keeps on telling me again and again ke tu nu baksh de have daya inside of your heart whatever happens let it go but andro he says no there's been a spear that's been pierced inside of my heart and the spear while they were taking that spear out guess what pieces of that sh- uh, shards of that spear are still inside of my skin are still pierced inside of my heart i can't stand that pain days go by and he keeps on building these thoughts over to on top of himself he's dwelling upon the thoughts each did me each moment passes by and those thoughts multiply those thoughts multiply they become heavier and heavier they say we must find a time when jassa singh leaves when he's alone pyareo they find a time when jassa singh gets on his horse one day jassa singh is riding out he's gone to grab something from the forest and as jassa singh is riding all the brards that were sent by gora ji by gora ji is sitting he's not there he sends people out they go they have their muskets filled with gunpowder they have bullets ready to go with no mercy when jassa singh is riding back they jump out at him and they say rok you that is traveling stop now Jassa Singh got caught off guard being caught got caught off guard Jassa Singh without a moment to be able to turn around his horse without a moment to be able to think about what to do without a moment to be able to pull out his city sahib and fight back the brards filled their guns and said now you are getting going to get the fall of the words that you said the macall that you made against somebody's mother you are about to get the fall now they shoot those bullets right in across his chest pyareo just saw saying with a thud he's down on the ground and they leave his body there with no remorse they come back they say that the task that you've sent us for it's been completed gora ji he says main bahut prasann hu i'm very happy because the jealousy the pain that i had in my heart he feels that it's 
it's soothed now pyareo this is just a form of what we might call our ego where does krodh come from krodh comes from a desire when that desire is not met then krodh comes out when your expectation is not met that's when krodh comes pyare hold no expectations lose yourself understand hukum leave everything to maharaj there's absolutely no way that krodh can come in front of your eyes pyare don't look through those eyes that lens of krodh through the desire krodh is met when he's met this desire he's met this desire of killing dissassing he feels he's gotten sukoon he feels like his heart has been soothed but that is just his pilikha that is just a param that is a doubt of his mind pyare we go inside of our lives we try to find many things we think that when i meet somebody when i receive something that i've been desiring for my entire life that i will find peace but no pyare that is just illusion of our mind let's look at this example what is the difference between an agyani and a brahmagyani and a gyani and a brahmagyani they do the same thing and a gyani sits there and he's eating he says i'm hungry for my stomach my taste buds are desiring this taste let me eat this when he eats what he was desiring for he says that hit the spot he feels anand for that split moment what does the brahmagyani do he does the exact same thing pyareo exact same thing he eats food He finds Anand but the difference is is the realization where he knows where the Anand is coming from the Agyani he knows that the Anand he thinks that the Anand is coming from the food he received the food and he says wow this food is great that Brahmagyani eats that food and he says the Anand is coming from my satis- satisfaction when jadon mera man takya my mind is firm i'm not looking out anymore and va sache paacha you are great the anand is coming from the self if anand truly ca- came from desiring things then we could go and find something we could easily buy something and find that anand we could even buy maharaj let's look at one more example a child is coming home after 6 months Six months later, the mom, the child is landing at the airport. The mother is crying, trying to see the son. The mother again and again calls the son, saying, "Pot kare aaja hoon, pot kare aaja." The mother has this desire, this mamata, that I need to see my son. She might even pay you FaceTime him. She might even call. She say, "Par nahi." ਪੁੱਤ ਜਿੰਨਾ ਚਿਰ ਤੂੰ ਮੇਰੇ ਆ ਕੇ ਗਲੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਨਾ ਲੱਗਦਾ ਅੰਟਿਲ ਯੂ ਕਮ ਐਂਡ ਹਗ ਮੀ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਮੇਰੇ ਹਿਰਦੇ ਨੂੰ ਸਕੂਨ ਨਹੀਂ ਮਿਲਦਾ ਮਾਈ ਹਾਰਟ ਮਾਈ ਵਿਲ ਨਾਟ ਫੀਲ ਥੈਟ ਪੀਸ ਮੰਥਸ ਗੋ ਬਾਈ ਦ ਚਾਈਲਡ ਹੈਜ਼ ਨਾਓ ਅਰਾਈਵਡ ਐਟ ਦ ਏਅਰਪੋਰਟ ਦ ਮਦਰ ਇਜ਼ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਦ ਏਅਰਪੋਰਟ ਟੂ ਪਿਕ ਅਪ ਹਰ ਸਨ ਦ ਚਾਈਲਡ ਇਜ਼ ਕਮਿੰਗ ਥਰੂ ਦ ਅਰਾਈਵਲਸ ਗੇਟ ਦ ਮਦਰ ਸੀਸ ਦ ਸਨ ਦ ਥੇਅਰ ਆਈਜ਼ ਮੀਟ ਦ ਟੀਅਰਸ ਆਰ ਫਲੋਇੰਗ ਫਰਮ ਦ ਮਦਰਸ ਆਈਜ਼ she runs up moves everybody aside leaves her other kids back leave her leaves her husband back and goes and gives her child a hug look at the amount of anand that she's feeling then but pyareo she's feeling that anand why because she's received what she was desiring for the anand does not come from the sun the anand does not come from meeting the person she was desiring for. the anand comes because she was desiring her mind was going out she was trying to find stuff now when she thinks that she's received it she thinks she's received it now man tak gaya anand aa gaya her mind is become still and she's found anand if it was really from the sun then why 5 days later when the sun spills milk on the dinner table why does she yell at the sun this happens to everybody all the time pyaro this happens to me this is my story where does ananda really come from it comes from thyself we search outside many times by goraji is sitting there he thinks he's found this ananda on the inside of himself because 
his desire of killing this person, but that was just an illusion. He's first, he's looking through a lens of Qurod. It's a doubt in itself. And then the doubt of receiving peace, that's just him being lost as well. Pyaryo, Guru Sahib is giving a hukum. Again and again, Maharaj gives us hukum. Hukum after hukum. We put it through one ear, we throw it out the other ear. Because what? We're looking through the lens of Vikar, of Vashna, something for ourselves. We must let go of ourselves, Pyaryo. By Gauraji. He says, This is, you've done a great thing. He encourages other people. He has already encouraged other people to go kill a Sevadar of the Guru's house. Now, he's adding more upon it, saying that you've done a great job. There was a spy of Guru Harai Sahib Sache Pacha, a security guard, say. He was watching this entire thing happen. He goes to Guru Harai Sahib Sache Pacha, the Murat of love, Pyar di Murat, Daya di Murat. Guru Harai Sahib Sache Pacha. Keep in mind, Pyaro, this is the same Guru Harai Sahib Sache Pacha who walked for the rest of his life through the gardens when his chola got caught on one flower and the flower fell down and Guru Hargobind Sahib Sache Pacha scolded him saying Tu ithe patr ni aya, tu ithe bute launa aya, pyaareya Keep in mind ke tere chole din al koi adke ke tot na jave This is that compassionate Guru never breaking hearts Sometimes this doubt comes in our mind How does fear and love come together? Without fear, there is no love. You only fear your father. Why? You only listen to your father. Why? Because you know when he says something, it goes. There's power over you. What about that? Pyara Sache Pacha, Guru Nanak Dev Ji, Guru Gobind Singh Ji, Sache Pacha, the person that's created this world, the Pangatin that we read yesterday, Deen Dunya Darkamande Ampari Ruksarma, Hardu Alam Kimate Yakatar Mue Yarma with one moch. Not even a case with one much. He's tied up both of these, all these worlds together. These two worlds. These two worlds that Gauraji in the garb, in the womb of his mother saying, I'm not going to be born, saying to his father, Pai Pagtuji, a person of Pagti, saying that I'm not going to come out into this world. I'll even give my mother pain. I must have kingship. I must have rule over these two worlds. Both of those worlds are tied with one much of Kalgi Tarpacha. Look at how much power Kalgi Tarpacha has. And Appa Kaye, Ki Maharaj Thodete Mera Koi Jor Ni Chalda. Ki Mera Chal Raya. Main Ki Ya. Pai Gaura Ji, after killing Pai Jassa Singh, Pai Jassa Ji. Guru Harai Sahib Sache Pacha hears the story that they went after Krod. They shot the Pyara in the chest. The Pyara's chest is still lying in the middle of that forest. Guru Harai Sahib Sache Pacha, if I do not say anything now, if I don't take any action, then there will be disorder amongst the Sangat. People will say, Guru Harai Sahib Sache Pacha, how come you allowed this to happen in order to maintain order? I must do something. That compassionate Guru, majboor hoke. Pyareo, the Guru never is angry. The Guru never looks through the lens of anger. The Guru never looks through the, the lens of mo. But in such a state, in order to keep that love of the satsangat, of everybody, in order to keep everybody together, and even for the fada of Pai Gauraji, Pai Gauraji might hear these words that Guru Harai Sahib Sache Pacha is about to say. And he might think that the Guru is angry at me. He's killed me. He's thrown me out. He thinks the Guru is angry, Pyareo. He thinks the Guru does not like me. He thinks the Guru is against me now. But no, the Guru is never against you. The Guru says something, Je gur chadke, ta mitha lag hai. Je bakshe, ta guru vade aai. This is a story of scolding. This is a story of yelling. This is a story of fear. This is a story of love. This is a story of longing. And this is a story of Bakshish Pyaryo. Bakshish ki me mel diya. 
a story of blessing. Guru Har Rai Sahib Sachche Paatshah takes on the face of Krodh. They say, 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 दुख तकलीफ होवे मेक श्योर दे फील फील पेन मेक श्योर दे गो इन टू द लाइफ फॉर्म ऑफ अ स्नेक मेक श्योर दे गो इन टू द लाइफ फॉर्म ऑफ अ रॉक मे गोरा जी जस्ट लाइक ब्रांचेस ऑफ ट्रीज फॉल मे ऑल ऑफ हिज फैमिली ऑल ऑफ हिज फ्यूचर जनरेशन फॉल ऑफ द फेस ऑफ द वर्ल्ड लाइक दैट मे पाई गोरा जी फील पेन मे पाई गोरा जी बी बर्ंट May Pai Gora ji be banished may Pai Gora ji's face be blackened until the end of time may Pai Gora ji never ever find peace may Pai Gora ji be strangled pyare o what can we list guru har rai sahib sachche paatsha they say 101 sharafs 101 bachan kode bachan sour words for Pai Gora ji the guru is never in krodh pyare do not find, fall under that param watch how these words of the guru they change pai gora ji's life je gur chadke ta meetha lag gaya pai gora ji hearing these words when the message gets sent to him now pai gora ji after realizing what he's lost pyare when you have something you don't realize the value when you've lost it then you realize Gurbani speaks about four dukhs dukh vichhoda ek dukh bhookh ek dukh sakt var jam doot ek dukh rog lage tan tai these four dukhs are what what are the four pains first pain is the pain of separation the second pain is the pain of hunger the third pain is the pain of the beating or the fear of death and the fourth pain pyareo that reaches the physical body the pain of the physical body itself when disease gets on this body these three dukhs they all sprout up from from the one dukh if you are separated from your guru then you feel the pain of the other three if you are with your guru you can never feel pain because you're connected to that love sachche paacha guru har rai sahib sachche paacha is giving these words these kode bachan bhai gora ji is getting up here and he's saying that my guru sahib di aagya palan karni ha maybe i haven't followed it now i realize this pain pyareo we are short on time this is why i don't want to go into the details of all the pains all of the things that went through the mind of pai gora ji pai gora ji now saying this they get on their horses they move away but pyareo they do not leave the guru they don't leave the guru what do they say they say maharaj main thodi aagya palan karni i want to follow your hukum how do i want to follow your hukum you tell me to leave i accept you tell me to go into all of these life forms you tell me that all my family generations will be gone i will be strangled i will never find peace i will never find another guru i will never find happiness maharaj so be it the only thing that i want now maharaj how can i make this up to you There is a distance called one ko which might equal about 7 kilometers. Wherever Guru Har Rai Sahib Sachche Paatsha went, Pai Gora ji has his full army. He is a big surbir, he's a jodha. He's the general of an army. He's wise, he's well learned, he's a scholar, he was a king. His army is hiding in the trees 7 kilometers away from wherever Guru Har Rai Sahib Sachche Paatsha went in hiding. that if ever in need i will always there be, be there for my guru i will never leave my guru even though the guru has kicked me out the guru is saying get away from me but i'm holding on to that but love my guru saying maraj mainu na shaddo hun dukh aaya only through dukh can we realize dukh daru sukh rog paya now he feels the pain sometimes pain comes to us say maraj why are you giving me this why don't we think of it maraj How great is it you're giving me this dukh so I can realize the value of you. Only through fear can we understand love. That fear is not fear, that fear is loving fear. Like the child will never scold a dad, the father, why? Because that dad 
has control over the child. The child, the dad knows that the child loves me. And the child knows that the dad loves me. The father loves me. Their relationship is so close. No matter how many problems between the father and the son, they will still have that connection as long as there is that fear. When there is no fear, they can, they, there can be no love. When there is no fear, the son will walk out of the house. Beario, this has happened many times, even with people that I have known throughout my life, where the son has come home, he's pulled a gun to the father and shot the father in the head. When there is no fear, there is no love. If you have fear, there will always be love. Pai Gauraji has that fear. Pai Gauraji has that love. He knows the Guru is capable of, all, of all, everything that, every button that Maharaj has said. Pai Gauraji is waiting there. Guru Harai Sahib Sache Pacha. Six months go by. Seven months go by. They decide to one day travel out. They get on a horse. They. All the cabins. All of the horse rides, all of the dulls, all the groups that are organized in one straight line. Guru Har Gobind, Guru Har Rai Sahib Sache Pacha is in the front. Guru Har Rai Sahib Sache Pacha received a hukum from Guru Har Gobind Sahib Sache Pacha saying that you will keep 2200 armed horsemen with you at all times, but you will never fight a battle. Guru Har Rai Sahib Sache Pacha, they're standing on this horse, they're sitting on this horse, why Guru? They're riding this horse. They're riding faster than everybody. Look at the beautiful games that these Gursiks are playing. When a deer comes out in front out of the forest, they send horses. The horses go, they chase down these deers. They capture these deers and they keep them. And guess what? The compassionate Guru is feeding those deers with his own hands. This compassionate Guru is bathing those deers with his own hands. Look at the love of this Guru. This compassionate guru of ours, he's taking care of these deers. He sends them back out into the world. They see more deer. They send out more horses. This is all happening while they're traveling along the rivers of Sataluj. As they're traveling along these rivers, Perio, they're traveling and traveling. They come to Kiratpur Sahib. When they get to Kiratpur Sahib, the place that Guru Hargobind Sahib Sache Pacha, they blessed, they established, the Sangat come, they throw flowers. They put the Guru on a throne. They bring out beautiful clothes of gold, of silk. They put beautiful Sarope Hazuriya around Guru Sahib's neck. They feed Guru, Har, Guru Har, Rai Sahib Sache Pacha. With such love and devotion, Guru Har Rai Sahib Sache Pacha, their face is glowing, their dara is being groomed. Everybody is doing Chaur Sahib on top of Guru Har Rai Sahib Sache Pacha. There is Kadai from their shoulders all the way bottom to the bottom of their Chola. In such beauty this Guru is sitting there. There is not even a thousand suns that can compare to the glow on Guru Har Rai Sahib Sache Pacha's face in that court. While all of this is happening, on outside of the Njagopai, Gauraji is still waiting. Wherever Guru Har Rai Sahib Sache Pacha would travel, they would keep their distance. And they would always stay this distance of seven kilometers behind them. Saying that Maharaj, whether they know or they don't know I'm here. Maharaj Antar Jam Mihan. They know I'm here, but even if they ignore, are ignoring me, I'm always going to be holding on to their palla ke Maharaj, you can move away from me. I'm not going to move away from you, Sache Pacha. This is my sharda inside of my heart. As they are traveling, they get to Kirat Pusayib. Pai Gauraji is still standing, waiting outside. Months have gone by. Their army is waiting to let go of them. Pai Gauraji is barely sustaining their army. But they know, Maharaj Sache Pacha, Mere thod disavai kush nahi hai. Har darshan ko mera man bahut tapata hai. Jeo trikha vant bin neer. Just like a fish can't live without water, Pyaryo. People shoot arrows of hate. But Guru Sahib shoot such an arrow of love, even through those Kaurde Bachan, there was an arrow of love that hit him so deep, took out all of those shards of pain. He's looking for this moment saying, how can I make my Guru happy? How can I make it up to my Guru? Guru Har Rai Sahib Sache Pacha, months go by, they get on this horse and they're leaving past, they're on their way back. They're on the side of Sataluj. 
And as they're traveling, Guru Harai Sahib Sachi Pacha, they get on their speedy horse, they ride many kilometers past everybody. When they ride many kilometers past everybody, they're not to be seen. They have many Gursikhs around them. But all of Guru Harai Sahib Sachi Pacha's family, all of the Gursikhs, all the Bajorgs, all the young children, they're in the traveling cabins. They're left behind. At this time, they were traveling to Lahore. On one side, you have many Turks coming up. There was a village that nearby. They heard that Guru Harai Sahib Sache Pacha is going by. They go up and see. They don't see Guru Harai Sahib Sache Pacha. They see all of these cabins. They see this dal that's traveling along the side of this river. And they realize that this is the family of Guru Harai Sahib Sache Pacha. The Turk leader, the Turk Badshah, he sends an order. We found Guru Harai Sahib Sache Pacha and their family is vulnerable. All the children are vulnerable. What should we do? We say, let's attack them. This is our chance. He becomes angry. Krod gets filled inside of his heart. He said, his father is the father. His father is that Guru who killed my father. Now I'm going to annihilate his family. Inside of this ankar, inside of this ego, looking through that lens again, Pyarjo, holding on to thyself, looking for peace by doing an action, saying once I receive the fall, once I receive the destination of my intention, once I receive that fada, once I receive that fall, once I receive that thing that I'm desiring, and I think I've received inside of my heart, I think I will find peace, but no, Pyare, you won't. The Mughals come out. On one side, by Goraji hears of this. On one side, there's an army that's running towards the family. Guru Harai Sahib Sache Pach is all the way ahead. On one side, by Goraji saying that, this is my chance. This is my chance to give up my life for my Guru. This is my chance to make up for it. Why don't I take my entire army? Yes, I know my army is a lot smaller than that army. Yes, I know we are few in numbers. Yes, I know we haven't eaten. This is my only chance that maybe I can give up my life. What if I give up my life and I die for my Guru? Maybe then the Guru will bless me. Perio. On one side, an army is coming to attack the family, to attack the children. On one side, by Goraji is rushing out. When these two meet, conversations of growth take place again. By Goraji circle around. They make a kera around the family, around the cabins of the children and the bajurgs. On one side, the Turks are saying, Who are you to stand in the way? We will annihilate you. We will annihilate everybody. Why don't you join us? We will give you even more fall. In every story of every Gursik that you can look in history, Pyarjo, there has been a bribe. Whether it's of something physical or whether their own mind has bribed them of a vikar. There's always been this bribe. Why? Because a bribe is something where you are going to receive something in return. But why don't you give up everything and you receive the Guru in return? Cutting this long prasang short pyareo, we've missed a few days. This is why I'm struggling to put these four prasangs, four days of katha together into one day of katha, into one sakhi. But here, by Goraji, they fight this battle. The battle begins. When Guru Harai Sahib Sache Pacha receives messages, there is a battle being taken place. He hears that the family and the entire Sangat is being attacked. He asks this question. He says, who are the people that are fighting back? Because I've given a hukum to my Sangat, to every Fajdar, that we are going to stay tiyar bar tiyar according to the hukum of my father, Guru Hargobind Sahib Sache Pacha. But we are never going to be a fight a battle even though we may be attacked. Never going to fight a battle. Who would be fighting a battle? And they say, Sache Pacha, it's that one Gursik who you sent away from your Sangat. That one Gursik, the son of Pai Pagtuji, Pai Goraji has returned. 
Bhai Gauraji is waiting there. He's fighting to his breath. His face is bleeding. His blood is on the ground. He's sacrificing everything that he has, Sache Pacha, for you. Gur Sikhs are excited. Guru Haraib Sahib Sache Pacha says, Main baut prasann hoya is cheez dekhe. I'm very, very happy. I'm pleased by hearing this. But Guru Haraib Sahib Sache Pacha, they say, Pai Gauraji will take everything. Look at how much prosa. We have prosa on the Guru. Guru has prosa on those Gur Sikhs as well. It goes both ways, Pyaryo. There's trust, there's love when it's built. Guru Haraj Sahib Sacheg Pacha get back on their horse and they go home. They leave the entire Sangha there. They're saying, My Gursik Pyara will take care of them. I love my Gursik that much. Guru Haraj Sahib Sacheg Pacha goes home. Pai Gauraji fights that battle. Many things go shaheed. In the evening time, when the Nagara is beating, the Turks go back. They go back to their camp. Pai Gauraji is waiting there. And they look back when their numbers are few, when their arms are bleeding, when they have no Gursiks around them, barely very few, they look around and those people that have stuck with them for the last nine months, they're looking at their dead bodies on the ground. Guru Harai Sahib Sache Pacha sends a message and they ask, has anybody in the Sangat been hurt? Has anybody in the Sangat been affected by anything in the warfare? The Sangat arrives and they say, Maharaj, not even a single case on our body was bent. Not even a single wind blew in front of our face to move a single case of ours. Sache Pacha Pai Gauraji, with such love, with such devotion, saying your name again and again, they were fighting into that battle with arrows piercing past them with tals being hit upon their backs, swords hitting them on the side. Their body is hurt, Sache Pacha. All the Gursiks around them are hurt. Maharaj, he has given up everything for you. Guru Harai Sahib Sache Pacha say, why don't you do this? Sikko, Sevako, go and grab Pai Gauraji, bring him to me once, at once, at this very moment, bring him to me. The Gursiks go, they go to Pai Gauraji and look at the love of Pai Gauraji. On one side he has the Guru, on the one side he has his fellow lovers, his fellow Fojis, his fellow Gursiks who are beside him and they're struggling with water, they're struggling with their wounds, they're struggling with the bandages being put on them. He's stuck in this situation, which way do I go? Do I look at these Gursiks, leave them in pain? Or do I go and be selfish again and go to get my bakshish? To be, get, to get rid of all of these curses that have been put upon me. <laughs> they say, I can't leave these Gursiks between, because inside of these Gursiks I see my Guru. There's been one Pai Kanayaji, but there's been many Pai Kanayajis. That Gursik Pai Gauraji sitting there. The Guru is saying, come, I will bless you. I will take away all your pains. I will take away all the sharafs that have been given to you. You will be given peace and love and everything. He's saying, no, but I can't leave my beloveds on the side here. He tells the sevak, he tells the seva that as you go first, I will come once I'm done my task here, once I'm done my seva. He's there, he's tying these bandages. When the message goes to the guru, the guru hears this love of the, that gursik. He falls in such love with that, that Gursik Guru Harai Sahib Sache Pacha. Get up from the takht that day and they say, send this message to Pai Gora. If Pai Gora Ji doesn't come to me now, I will come to him. I will get on my horse. I will come to him. If that's what he wants. When the Seva goes, they say Guru Harai Sahib Sache Pacha is saying, they will leave everything. They will leave the Sangha there. They will get on their horse, ride alone to you. Pai Gauraji gets on the horse, runs to Guru Harai Sahib Sache Pacha, bows down at their feet, puts their hands together, and before Guru Harai Sahib Sache Pacha could say anything, they say these bachans. They say, Maharaj, I'm poor, I'm a maskeen. Your name is Adara. Hey Sache Pacha, I'm a little bit of a I'm ungrateful for you. 
I've done such bad things to you. Maharaj, I've broken your heart. Maharaj, I've turned my face away from you. I never listened to your buttons. I never listened to your words. Maharaj, I'm not worthy of standing in front of you today. Maharaj, if you have it inside of your heart, you can bless me. Maharaj, even if you throw me out of this house right now, I will not hold it against anything. Everything is within your power, Sachay Pacha. Guru Harai says, Sachay Pacha, they say that all of your sharafs will be blessed. Every single one. Instead of going into the June of a sap, let's get rid of that. Instead of going into the June of a patta, let's get rid of that. They go through one by one all 101 curses that were given to Pai Gauraji. At the very last one, when Guru Har Gobind Sahib, Guru Har Raya Sahib Sachi Pacha is, is about to say that even when the curse was given to you, that you will be strangled to death, how, how are you going to die? You are going to be strangled to death. You are going to be hung to death with rope. Guru Har, Pai Gauraji puts his hands together and says, Maharaj, why don't you just leave one of these curses on me? Guru Har Raya Sahib Sachi Pacha says, why? Pai Gauraji can lage, Maharaj, People have a lot of sharda towards you. If none of your curses go, people might hear that you've given me a lot of curses. What if they did? They don't hear that you've blessed me as well. What if in somebody else's mind there's a doubt that maybe Guru Harai Sahib Sache Pacha doesn't have that power, doesn't have that shakti to be able to do all of these things. Maharaj, why don't you leave this one curse on me? Because of your honor, Sache Pacha. I want to be strangled to death. I want to be strangled to death, Sachi Pacha. Why? Because I want people to keep that love for you. Gurbani Vichy for Mornanda. जो हम बांधे मोफास हम प्रेम बंधन तुम बांधे अपने शूटन को यतन करे हम शूटे तुम आराधे बाणी इस हिंग दिस अकाल पुरख सच्चे पाचा देव टाइड अस डाउन इनटू दिस वर्ल्ड वी आर टाइड बाय माया वी आर टाइड बाय आर माइंड वी आर टाइड इन दिस बंधन्स ऑफ दिस वर्ल्ड बट व्हाट आर द पगत सेइंग टू अकाल प Joham bande mofas, you've attached me inside of mo and thrown me into this world. Ham shoote tum arade, but guess what? I've freed myself. How? By attaching myself to your name. But look at the conversation. We spoke about conversation yesterday as well with the guru. The pyara pagat is saying, "You've tied me down into this world. I've remembered your name. Your name is something that can free me from it. But now I've also tied you into something." What have I tied you into? I've tied you into my love. You've attached me to this Maya and thought you could keep me in here. Guess what? I remembered your name and I got out. What are you going to do about it? But now I've tying. I'm tying you to something as well. I'm tying you to my love, but my name has no power. I, I'm Nathama. I have nothing. Who? What are you going to remember? Apne shoot and go. Yatan kare. Ham shoote tum arade. Why don't you try to get out of this love? Akal Purk says, I can't get out of that love. Sevaki Orak Nibihi Preet. That love of those Gursikhs is always going to be fulfilled. That Gursikh is standing there saying, Maharaj, I want to be strangled to death. The Guru says, If that's what you want, if you want to die, you will be strangled to death. But how? When that rope goes around your neck, it won't be a, a, a rope of pain. You will feel my arms going around you and hugging you and putting yourself inside of me. If you want to go through that pain, Guru Harai Sahib Sachi Pacha says, I will take your pain, I will put it upon myself. I will take the pain of that strangle. Even though it might be inside of my button, that the, you will go through that pain, but no, the pain will be there. I'll take that pain. What will go around your neck will be my loving arms of this love. Pai Gauraji, falling at the feet, Guru Harai Sahib Sachi Pacha, they said, you go out into this world, become a king. Not only a king of this world, 
but also a king of the angelic world, also a king of the next world, and the next world after that, and the next world after that. What was by Gauraji's purpose of coming to this world? I want to be king of both worlds. He thought he could find Sukh through that. He didn't. Moved away from the Guru. Found the Guru, found that peace. Now he's saying that such a pacha, if you make me a king, it doesn't matter. You throw me out, it doesn't matter. Now the Guru is saying, I want to make you the king of both of these worlds. You give yourself to the Guru, the Guru will give you everything, Pyaryo. This was a story of desire. This was a story of power. This was a story of acceptance. This was a story of falling under the pressures of the mind. This was a story of turning your face away from the beloved. This is a story of realization, realizing the separation of the beloved. A story of that longing for that love. A story of proving it to your beloved, what it means for that love. And a story of being blessed to be taking all of your pains away to truly finding that love inside of that beloved. Sachi Pacha, Aap Ji Kirpa Karo. Bless us with this understanding, Maharaj. That we can understand your value. Are we listening to your words and turning our face away? This Sant Mandali that we have here. I Sant Barone, Kirtan Hua Ransabai. Doing Kirtri of the Guru is the Jeevan's Manorath. This is the purpose of your life. Through attaching ourselves with love to that Shabad, whether it be the Gyan, whether it be the Vijars that we've done throughout this camp, whether it's been the informal conversations, whether it's been the Hukum Name that we have been taking from Maharaj. Okay, Maharaj, give me that understanding. All of these Karams that I've done, I've done Kirtan, I've done Seva, I've taken Hukum Name, I've read Nathanim. What is Maharaj's Hukum Nama that we gave to this camp? Paat padeo, ar bed bhi chareo, nivil payangam saade, panch jina siyo sangna siyutkeo, adhe kaham bote aage piyare, inim bid milna jai, you do whatever you want. Pai Gauraji tried to do whatever he wanted. He did not find that. Inim bid milna jai, mein kiye karma aneka, haar pareo. Swami ke dwaare di jai, buddh babay ka Maharaj jusi minu bakshu, I've done all of these things. I've done charity, everything. But Maharaj, I don't know what to do. What can I do? Your service is a rang mata. But you can do it. When you do it, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. When you bless me, only then can I meet you. Maharaj, I do not have no understanding. Please bless me. But you can do it. Deen to kupanjan. Har har kirtan. Iho man rata. Fill me. Fill my insides, fill the pores of my heart with that love. Pyareo, let's sit in this Sangat here. Let's not think about anything else. Let's not think about what time it's going to be. Let's not think, let's break these bandhan of time. Let's break these bandhan of which Kirtani is doing Kirtan. Does he have a nice voice if he's, I'm only going to sing with him if the tabla is on beat. Pyareo, do not attach yourself to those bandhan. Pyareo, look at the Guru and say that no matter what, even if there's a Saj, Yes, there's a Dildarwa playing and it's making you emotional with the tunes. But that is not the purpose. Let's just look at that. Let's not attach ourselves to these physical things. This love is way beyond any of these sounds, any beyond these words, anything beyond these saj or these in interactions we have in this. Tero sevak eho rang mata. When that love is a tune inside of the mind, nothing is left. That love can only be achieved how? When you do the karams. Why would you do the karams? Because you have fear from the Guru. Through fear, love is found. Through fear, you do action. But through action, God is now found. But through action, you realize that love. Through love, God is found. When you realize that love, you become the embodiment of love. What is Prem? When you lose yourself. What is Vashna? When you're trying to gain something for yourself. Pyareo, let's lose ourselves in these next few hours that we are going to do Kirtan. I've made many, many mistakes throughout this camp. 
throughout these kathas, throughout my entire life. Sad Sangha Ji, you are my Guru. I bow down to you and I say, please bless me. If I have turned my face away from the Sangat, if I have turned my face away from the Guru, Sache Pacha, Kirpa Karo, bless me. Show me a way, where, a way which I can prove myself to the Sangat. Show me a which way, way which I can prove, prove myself to Guru Sahib. Get to see Merevi. Mere upar bhi, oh kirpa drishti nadar, mere upar bhi kar do, sache paatshah, bless me with that nadar. Inniya bintiyan parbaan karniya, saad sangha ji. Gajjavaj ke fateh bilao, apna kirtan vich judiye, let's attune ourselves together. But after I say this fateh, until everybody is coming together, until the kirtan is being set up, let's sing those two lines again. Let's just sing those two lines of that hukum nama Maharaj has blessed us with. So we can understand, we can feel that love of that sevak by Goraji. Gajwa ji ke fateh bilao ji, Vahe Guru ji ka khalsa, Vahe Guru ji ki fateh. Tero sevak eho rang mata, Tero sevak eho rang mata.